Good evening, I'm David Kramer at the National Weather Service, Alaska Statewide Weather. Starting off for the remainder of the day, we have an area of low pressure extending out over uh, much mainland Alaska that's allowing for some showers to form in the afternoon and evening hours. And there is potential for some of those to be thunderstorms through much of the interior and down through much of southwest Alaska. There's some areas that we are concerned about increased fire risk from lightning strikes. That's going to be from uh, much of the northern part of the interior and down through much of the Kuskokwim Valley and Kuskokwim Delta areas and also some of the areas around the lower Yukon Valley. Otherwise, we have some low pressure systems out by the Aleutian Islands bringing some rain to the areas and high pressure dominating the Gulf of Alaska, which is helping to keep most of the areas around the North Gulf Coast and the Panhandle fairly dry. As we move into tonight, that high pressure is going to sit firm, keeping dry conditions expected for much of the Panhandle as well as much of the North Gulf Coast, extending into some of the areas of South Central as well. Still going to see some of the showers lingering into the evening hours for much of southwest Alaska and up into the interior. Some showers also in the Brooks Range are possible, as well as some areas of snow along the North Gulf Coast. High pressure dominating the northern portions of the Bering Sea, but we are seeing some areas of low pressure continuing out by the Aleutian Islands, bringing more rain to the southern Bering, the Aleutian Islands, and the Alaska Peninsula, with some of that rain and southerly flow starting to make it to Kodiak. On Tuesday, we do expect more widespread rain for Kodiak Island, with low pressure still lingering out by the eastern Aleutians. Rain will extend through the Alaska Peninsula and up into southwest Alaska. And as far as the mainland, we will see more showers and thunderstorm potential in the afternoon and evening hours on Tuesday. That will extend up through much of the interior, the mountains around south central, up into the Brooks Range as well. High pressure is going to linger in the Gulf of Alaska, keeping areas of the North Gulf Coast and down into uh, the Panhandle fairly dry, continuing through much of Tuesday. However, in the morning hours, there could be potential for some stratus off of uh, the Gulf of Alaska to sneak into some of the areas in the inside waters of the Panhandle. On Wednesday, the high pressure is still in the Gulf, but weakening is starting to push off a little bit more to the south and east. This will keep the Panhandle fairly dry, but allow on the western side of the Gulf some areas of rain to sneak into uh, Kodiak Island as well as to the Kenai Peninsula and other areas around South Central. In the afternoon and evening hours on Wednesday, we are still expecting the many showers to form for southwest Alaska, the interior, and up into the Brooks Range. Out over the Bering Sea, high pressure is moving in from the west. With Alaska Statewide Weather, I'm David Kramer.